So I've been using one of these wheelchairs since about the age of three. And whilst they've served me well over the years, I've just turned 40 this year. I'm getting on a bit. It's time for an upgrade. This is the Jenny, the world's first self-balancing wheelchair. Jenny have just gone and made me a brand ambassador. So as my first task, I'm off to road test this bad boy at the biggest road race on the planet. This is planes, trains, and automobiles. Today we're heading on to Dublin Airport to cancel flights to Paris and to head on to Le Mans. Uh, where we're going to be filming as part of an event with Jenny Mobility uh, for the Le Mans 24 hour race. Can't wait! <laughs> it's going to be great. Jenny have this association with one of the teams over there and it's all to do with disability because a couple of the drivers apparently in Le Mans this year have um, disabilities. That in itself I think is a great thing because the fact that you know, there's, there's this sort of inclusivity and, and integration with the mainstream element of Le Mans. There's no differentiation in terms of the likes of the way that the Olympics would be with the, the Paralympics being a completely separate series of events. We're going to be down at pit side, getting some of the drivers and getting some of the action down there. So it'll be really pretty cool to see. We're just arriving at uh, Dublin Airport, heading to Terminal 2. And, uh, try and get the, the van parked somewhere. What do you think? Do you think I've got the Le Mans look? Joining me on the trip is old friend and colleague from One and Five, Eamon Devlin. And as we make our way towards Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, we're really not too sure what to expect when we arrive in France. Final leg of the journey here in Paris. Heading to Le Mans on the uh, TGV. Just waiting the train. So we're off to a great start, but you know, Jenny's been brilliant, just flying about the airports or even getting onto the train, I've had no issues at all so far. Oh, uh, just running a, a taxi. No wheelchair taxis! But after some haggling with a local taxi driver, we got it into a normal taxi and made our way to the hotel. The next day, we were able to get a bit of time out around Le Mans before we headed the track. And then finally, we've arrived. Okay, so we're just uh, about to enter the paddock here at Le Mans. I spot Palo down the crowd and thought it'd be a great time to get a chat with him before all the action kicks off. So we're down just the outskirts of Le Mans racetrack. I'm with none other than the inventor of the Segway wheelchair, Mr. Palo Badano. Just wanted to get an idea from you how you know, Jenny has been involved in uh, Le Mans this year. Qui ci sono, qui a Le Mans ci sono tutti gli ingredienti che io adoro. Um, l'elettronica, la meccanica, il coraggio, l'ostinazione. È una gara di 24 ore molto dura e quando ho saputo che c'è un team, eh, il team di Frederic, Sans Susset, eh, con dei piloti con disabilità, eh, ho sposato subito questa causa e, e quindi ho accettato l'invito di Frederic a venire qua a supportare i piloti con delle Jenny perché questo progetto veramente 
parla di un nuovo, una nuova disabilità, siamo davanti a una disabilità che no, non si vuole più arrendere, che vuole uscire, vuole vivere e qua credo che sia l'esempio più grande di questa nuova disabilità eh, che c'è e quindi siamo venuti con piacere a dare una mano a Frederick nel suo progetto. Here we are, head sides, at Le Mans. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is it. The race is about to start. I follow Paolo and Nicholas as we head up to the grandstand. Okay guys, well, this is pretty special. We are hit side, the race is live. It's happening right now. And you can hear the cars flying past the background. We're just going behind the scenes here. We're back uh, behind where all the uh, pit crews are working, preparing the cars, bringing them in, working on them as they uh, go around. And as the cars raced into the night, there was no shortage of drama on the racetrack. So day two, we are coming up to the social area in Le Mans. It's been pretty action-packed so far. <laughs> I mean, words can't really explain it or describe it. There's just so much happening here. The site is absolutely massive. And, um, you know, it's just obviously a clearly such a huge event with so many big brands and sponsors. And you can see there's uh, representation from the entire world of motorsport. You know, you have bikes, um, different classes of uh, motor racing. And you know, Le Mans wouldn't be Le Mans in fact. It's heritage, and that comes from the classics. And you know, the Jenny was amazing, just over so many different types of terrain. Something for me as a filmmaker that's really important. And wow! The Jennies were such a head turner that we had so many people coming over and asking to take a photo with us. It really is the Ferrari of wheelchairs. And although it was coming to the end of the race, I wasn't done just yet. I wanted to chat to Frederick to find out why the Jenny was so important to him with his work at Le Mans. I'm with Frederick Sousset. We're in the middle of the action here in Le Mans. The race has been taking place. This is day two, and I'm with uh, the man himself, Frederick. Thanks for having us, firstly. Just want to get a bit of an idea of you know, your background with uh, the Jenny and how you've come about using this brilliant machine. Merci, bonjour à tous. Donc, uh, Jenny, uh, lorsque j'ai découvert Jenny, uh, j'étais je, à la recherche uh, d'un fauteuil qui me permette uh, d'avoir beaucoup plus d'autonomie qu'un fauteuil traditionnel. Uh, et j'ai fait beaucoup de recherches sur Internet et lorsque j'ai vu le produit de Jenny, je me suis dit que c'était vraiment le produit qu'il me fallait. Uh, et lorsque j'ai fait l'acquisition, uh, ça, ça a prouvé que j'avais eu raison puisque c'est... C'est un produit qui m'amène beaucoup d'autonomie. Je suis quelqu'un qui voyage beaucoup, euh, qui va partout, euh, y compris euh, sur, des, sur des endroits qui ne sont pas planes. Et euh, j'avais vraiment besoin d'avoir ce type de, de produit. Et, et aujourd'hui, ça va faire trois ans que j'ai le génie. Et, et euh, franchement, ça nous a apporté à ma femme et à moi, à ma famille, beaucoup d'autonomie. Ça permet d'avoir plus une, une plus grande résilience de ce qui s'est passé, de mon accident. Et, euh, et je l'utilise bah, quasiment tous les jours. Frédéric, merci beaucoup et bonne chance pour le monde. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much.
Alright, so we're back inside. This is the final of Le Mans. We're going into the uh, team's pits now to get the reaction, see what's happening, and see how the Frederick Sassay team have done this year in Le Mans. So follow me. Definitely uh, there of anticipation, waiting to see what's going to happen as the last driver comes through. Like that, that is it. Le Mans 2021 is over. What a spectacular race. There have been crashes, there's been excitement, it has been adrenaline filled. But I tell you what, it's been an experience like nothing else I've ever witnessed. I mean, the size and scale of this event alone is just something to be witnessed firsthand. And I have to say that I'm very fortunate to have been here amongst all the action uh, in France. 24 hours racing, I mean, the amount of stamina that's needed from not only the drivers, but the, the crew, the support staff, and everyone involved in the team to make it happen. Um, I have to say, it's, it's something else. That was Le Mans. Thrills, spills, and everything in between. <laughs> Do you want to know something? This whole trip wouldn't have been possible in my manual chair, even down to making this film. So thank you, Jenny. The trip has been amazing, and I can't wait to embark on the next journey. If you've liked this video, please hit subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one.